the studios at the School of Communication and Journalism. Welcome to Stony Brook Media Group's Halftime Report, brought to you by Tropical Smoothie Cafe. I'm Irina Ivanuk. On Sunday, the NAACP chapter at Stony Brook held a masquerade-themed award ceremony, honoring members of the Seawolves community for their hard work and excellence. Campus dance groups performed during the ceremony celebrating black culture and history. Attendees were invited to do a decorated mask and participate in the entertainment, music and free food. The SBU chapter of the NAACP aims to continue lifting up and celebrating the achievements of Stony Brook students in the future. Stony Brook celebrated an amazing milestone at the end of February. Brittany Deeds tells us more. On February 22nd, the New York Blood Center celebrated 100,000 lives saved with over 33,000 blood donations from the Stony Brook University community. There are many guest speakers at this event, such as Vice President of Student Affairs Rick Gatto, who shared a strong message about what it means to donate blood. Giving blood has the ability to save lives, improve health, and advance health equity. And so saving lives promoting that health equity, helping our greater community, those are all embedded parts of the mission of Stony Brook University. Members of Stony Brook wanted to commemorate this incredible achievement forever on campus with something creative. MFA student Katie Wong custom designed a tapestry representing all the lives saved. This tapestry will be put in the Student Activity Center where many of the blood drives occur. It truly is such an honor to support the life-saving efforts with amazing collaborators on our campus. And we're so thankful to be able to help so many lives on a consistent basis. And while we've reached 100,000, we keep the momentum going to reach 100,000 more. Reporting for the Stony Brook Halftime Report, this is Brittany Dietz, back to you in the studio. Our MVP of the week is Jan Diskin Zimmerman, Dini for her students and colleagues. In 1999, she joined Stony Brook University to start up two television studios for us, for the School of Communications and Journalism. Dini produces videos, teaches, and provides significant support to the SBU faculty and students in the show production. Before joining Stony Brook University, Dini was a producer at News 12 Long Island, director at CNN and other markets, and associate director at ABC News in Washington. Dini is admired for her energy, strength, and knowledge. From all the students in the School of Communication and Journalism, thank you, Dini. That's it for us in the studio. We'll get you back out to Laval Stadium for first half stance and analysis after this.